Hello, saints. Hello, everybody. I pray everybody's doing very well today. Uh, I wanted to read some Bible with you guys since I am on my break. I have time to read some holy scriptures. And um, I'm going to read in Hosea chapter 14. And I know the other day I posted a video about repentance and how important repentance is to the body of Christ. That we must do that on a daily basis especially guys as 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 a nation like the lord says repent humble yourself and i will heal your land you know god always talks about the holy scriptures always talk about you know living a life of repentance living a life of um you know just yeah asking god for forgiveness because even as a christian of course we sin it doesn't matter if you get a thought or whatever. It's still, a, it's a sin. If that thought is not from the Lord, it's a sin. If you get a lustful thought, it's a sin. So, you know, even things that we say that come out of our mouth, you know, it might not be pleasing to the Lord. So we just have to be aware of that, okay? So I'm going to read Hosea chapter 14. And it says, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. For your sin has been your downfall. Sin is always man's downfall. It's always man's downfall. Satan's sin was his downfall. He was prideful. Downfall. He fell from heaven. The Lord sent him to earth. He was no longer allowed to live in the heavenlies where God is. So he, so the Lord sent him down like lightning. So, you know, it's always, and then in the Garden of Eve, in the Garden of Eden, I'm sorry. In the Garden of Eden, what did Eve do? She ate from the tree. Her and Adam ate from the tree. They weren't supposed to. They sinned against God. So it says, your sins have been your downfall. Return to the Lord and repent. And this is a word for today. This is a word for now. It's, it's God telling you guys to repent and turn to him. Be like, what was that, that city that, that, um, Jonah came and, um, you know, he had what he preached. He said, repent and the Lord will save you. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will restore you. So as a nation, I feel like, man, there needs to be some true repentance to repent, to repentance. So the Lord can begin to heal us, right? Heal our land. Return to the Lord and repent. Say to him, completely forgive our iniquity. Accept our penitential prayer. Sorry, I, I'm reading for, I have a different Bible in, in this one. I'm not too used to. So this is the one that I read from in my vehicle. So forgive me for some words. Okay, your penitential prayer. Our penitential prayer. That we may offer the praise of our lips as sacrifice as sacrificial bulls. Wow. That we may offer the praise of our lips as sacrificial bulls. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride, we will not ride war horses. We will never say again our gods to what our own hands have made. And I feel like this is a big problem. That's why the idols are coming down. God is destroying the idols in America. He's already, you know, showing us that. Everything that America idolizes, he's tearing it down. Even money. That's like the biggest idol in America is money. And what comes behind money? Greed. What comes behind all that? pride what comes behind all that control manipulation you want to be in control you want to be on top you want to make the most money that is america it's all about money 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 even in the churches all about money all about money all about money they idolize money mammon they idolize mammon they make it their gods so even the lord um he's um he's taking away our idols guys them idols are coming down. Them idols are coming down. All those little celebrities you worship, look what's happening. And you're idolizing a sex offender. You're idolizing a sex trafficker. You're idolizing a, 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 a person that loves violence, a person that sheds blood. That's what you, that's who you're idolizing. But guess what? God's bringing those idols down. And we're seeing that right now. 
We're seeing that right now. All God's people, God's people that have been walking close to him, that the Lord speaks to because they are open to hear him. He has been warning America. He has been warning this nation. He has been letting us know what's about to happen. And has America woke up yet? I pray that we do. It says, for only you will show compassion to orphan Israel. I will heal their waywardness and love them freely. For my anger will turn from them. I will be like the dew of Israel. He will blossom like a lily. He will send down his roots like a cedar of Lebanon. His young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree. His fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will reside again in his shade. They will plant and harvest grain in abundance. They will blossom like a vine. And his fame will be like the wine from Lebanon. O oh, or O oh, O oh, Ephraim, I do not want to have anything to do with idols anymore. Guys, God is ready. He's do you not know he's always ready for you to come to him and repent with your heart and say, Lord, I'm sorry for these idols that I have built up for myself. I'm sorry for these idols. I'm sorry if I've been worshiping whatever celebrities. I'm sorry if I've been worshiping my pastor. I'm sorry if I've been worshiping money. I'm sorry if I've been idolizing um, my spouse. I'm sorry if I've been idolizing friendships. I'm sorry if I've been idolizing prophets. I'm sorry if I've been idolizing um, whatever it is you're idolizing, food. That was, you know what? I had to repent of that and God has been working on me with that. Food became my idol. I was getting my feel. So, guys, yeah, I mean, he's, and when you're walking close to the Lord, it feels great when he tears down your idols. Even the idols that we don't even, you know, not until, it's not until he um, reveals it to us. You're idolizing this and you're putting this in front of me. Stop it. So then he says, Oh, Ephraim, I do not want to have anything to do with idols anymore. I will answer him and care for him. I am like a luxuriant cypress tree. Your fruitlessness comes from me. Your fruitlessness, sorry. Your fruitlessness comes from me. Who is wise? Let him discern these things. Who is discerning? Let him understand them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The godly walk in them, but in them the rebellious stumble. So, guys, it's easy. It's easy. When you're walking with the Lord, and that was the message for today. Today, It's in Hosea chapter 14. But um, it's easy. It's very simple, guys. If you're walking with the Lord, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke you now. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. 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 You have to flee now in Jesus' name. Sorry, guys. I got a sharp, sharp. Like if somebody stabbed me in the stomach pain right now, it really. And see, as soon as I rebuked it, it went away. Praise the Lord. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Anyways, so it's simple. When we're walking with the Lord, we should live a life of repentance. And we should ask the Lord, Lord, examine my ways. Examine my heart. What am I doing that is not pleasing to you? Of course we're not perfect. But what am I doing that is not pleasing? Because once you once you see it, once you observe what you're doing that is not pleasing to him, you work on it. And you don't want to do it again. You work on yourself. I, I have known of people in their 50s, 60s that are still the same when they were. They still have the same mindset. They're still the same. Whenever I rebuke you in Jesus' name, oh my goodness, I rebuke you now, Father. I come against all demonic attacks of the enemy over my stomach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I cancel every assignment of the enemy over my stomach. Wow, I feel like somebody's stabbing me. He does not want me to talk about this. Wow, thank you, Lord. Yes, 
Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I plead the blood of Jesus now over my womb, Lord, and I equip myself with your full armor. I put on your helmet of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth around my waist, the gospel of peace on my, on my feet. I take up your shield, shield and your sword. Woo! I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God because it shuts the enemy down real quick. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so anyways, he wants us to repent. It's very simple. When we're walking with him, we should ask him, Lord, what am I idolizing? What am I putting before you? There's another thing. If you really want to know what dross you have, you want to know, you want to know the dross. Fast. Go on a fast. I'm telling you, it's going to be, it's going to pull up real quick. Like, man, this is what I need to work on. But anyways, so it's an easy thing. God says, just repent repent humble yourself stop being prideful stop being like satan and being prideful stop being deceived like like eve stop falling into the deception of the devil stop doing that we remember the lord says i will make you smarter than your enemies so if you're not smarter than your enemy something's going on that means you're blinded somewhere the enemy is is coming in somehow and i was talking to um texting my brother today about little foxes and i was hearing a sermon and i'm like that's what it is these little foxes we let them in and we don't even know how we let them in we don't even know but we let them in somehow we let them in somehow so take care of those little foxes take care you know and little foxes can be anything distractions little foxes can be idols little fo it could be anything that's eating you know they eat up away eat up eat up eat up eat up the vine eat up the vine by little by little and you don't even know and all of a sudden it's just like what is going on lord so anyways that was the word for today guys um i gotta go and get some food um but anyways yes so so keep that in mind repent daily um you know fast if you need to fast if you're led to fast and and yes and let god move in your life all right shalom shalom bye-bye